Hello and welcome everyone. This is your host Shore and I will tell you all the personal finance news of the day in our show Money Time. So, let's begin with the news on loans. From September 3rd, 2022, taking home loans and other type of loans from the Indian bank will cost you dearly as the public lender has increased its MCLR or external benchmark lending rate by 0.1% to 7.75%. Most of retail loans are tied up with one year MCLR of the banks so such loans like home loan car loan personal loan are all going to cost you dearly from Saturday onwards currently home loans of indian banks start from a minimum of 7.9% rate of interest next up we have news for all those risk averse investors out there who like to invest in lesser volatile investment options Axis AMC has launched a silver ETF and a silver fund of funds. The subscription of the both NFOs will close on September 15, 2022. You can start with minimum investment of 500 rupees in case of Axis Silver ETF and 5000 rupees in case of Axis Silver FOF. According to Business Daily Mint, CB had in September last year allowed mutual fund houses to introduce silver ETFs in the country. Since then, Many fund houses have already launched a slew of silver ETFs. If you end up in a dispute with your insurer and if the insurance ombudsman has not taken any action within 1 year of filing the complaint, then you can contact Government of India's Bima Lokpal and get your grievance resolved. In the last two financial year, Bima Lokpal has solved more than 70,000 complaints filed by the policy holders. Currently, There are 17 insurance ombudsman center in the country. Up next, we have news for people who love to travel. Very soon, you will be able to change your Air India flight in case it is delayed. You will get a message from the airline well in advance that your flight has been rescheduled or delayed. You can even change and opt for another flight during the emergency. The present government has always pushed for privatization of the public companies citing that privatization improves efficiency and customer experience of the customers probably the same thing is happening with air india after the tata group bought the airline from the government in january this year its ceo campbell wilson has taken step after another steps to give a fabulous experience to the flyers now the recent development is one more step taken in that direction now we have some sad news from the labor market According to the latest data of Center for Monitoring Indian Economy that is CMIE 20 lakh people have lost their job in August 2022 prior to this 1.3 crore people had lost their job in 2 months ago in June 2022 non surprisingly this has pushed the unemployment rate of the country to one year high of 8.3% Mahesh Vyas who is the director of economic think tank has said that so many people have lost their jobs because of ongoing monsoon season in the country he said that most of these jobs were related to agriculture this happens every year during the monsoon where farmers are not able to cultivate anything and are forced to sit idle however he also said that he was optimistic about the job creation in the coming months okay let's dive in the world of instant messaging WhatsApp has banned close to 1 crore accounts in 5 months to July 2022. The instant messaging platform has spent all these accounts on the ground of hate speech, misinformation and fake news. The Ministry of IT has taken a lot of measures to regulate content on social media platforms. The IT ministry is planning to bring a legal platform for social media users where they can file a complaint against any discriminatory action. Users will also be able to appeal if their videos or posts were taken down without any valid reason next we have news for all these stock market enthusiasts adani enterprises all set to supersede shri cement in the nifty 50 index on september 30 2022 do you know what is the criteria by which stocks are added to the nifty 50 index well only those stocks can be added to the nifty 50 index which are traded under the futures and options contract and Adani Enterprise is one such stock. Now it's time to talk about electric vehicles safety. To stop electric vehicles from catching fire, the government is making it mandatory for EV companies to implement upgraded safety standards from October 1, 2022. 
Union Minister Nitin Gadkari had warned EV manufacturers that the government would levy penalty if they don't follow proper safety standards in the battery packs. In April this year, reports of two-wheeler companies like Okinawa, Ola Electric and PureView catching fire had spooked citizens all over the country. Since then, the government has proactively taken steps to upgrade safety standards of batteries used in electric vehicles. Up next, we have news for businessmen who are required to file goods and service tax. The finance ministry has said that GST officers can charge tax offenders of a crime in a court who are found of tax evasion or misuse of tax credit of more than 5 crore rupees. But this limit does not apply in case of habitual evaders. In India, a taxpayer is treated as a habitual evader if he has been involved in two or more cases of tax evasion, fraudulent refund or misuse of ITC of more than 5 crore rupees for a total of 2 years. The government has a database of all such tax evaders and this database is known as Digit. So, we will wrap up the show with another news on tax. The government has set target for collecting a similar amount of taxes from the common man and big corporates of the country. In the budget estimates of FY23, the government has set a target of direct tax collection of $14.2 trillion. Out of this, it has estimated to collect $7.2 trillion from the corporates and $7 trillion from the individual taxpayers. In the current financial year, the government has collected $4.8 trillion of direct taxes. This is already 33% higher than what was collected in the same period last year. According to Nidhan Gupta, who is chairman of Central Board of Direct Taxes, the government had collected taxes in excess of budget estimates in the previous financial year. And this year also it is on the part to collect higher taxes than the budget estimates on the back of robust economic recovery. And that's it for today. But if you want to know how you can create emergency fund, then watch our next episode of Spendwise. Also, if you loved our show, then show us some love. Subscribe us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, download our apps and also ask your friends and family to do the same.